Hi, this is Marcus Devil of the Blue Poets and a warm warm welcome to another episode of Guitar Junkie. What you just heard was the Blue Poets live power version of a very famous song called Oh Pretty Woman. So I was channeling my inner Gary Moore. Today's episode is all about the 70s rock god setup before there were too many pedals and too many gadgets available. A simple guitar uh, Les Paul in this case, this old beautiful gold top, a wonderful Marshall which is the new Studio Plexi 20 watt version and this amplifier is cranked on 10. So once again I learned something by recording this sound that every component is super super important. Before I get into it, here are the settings of the amplifier. I'm going into the high treble input which is turned up to full. The normal or bass channel is turned up to 6, the treble is on full, the middle is on 8. The bass is rolled off because I regulate the bass with the bass channel and the presence is also on 8. The amplifier is on the 20 watt setting and you can tame it down to 5 watts if you don't want to kill people. And it's going to a 4x12 Marshall cabinet which is purple, which is very important for the sound. <laughs> and it has vintage 30s and it's mic'd by a Tull G12 going into an API mic pre. The next thing is the guitar. As you can see, it's an old Les Paul that started its life in 1956 as a P90 guitar and it's been converted to humbuckers. I always thought that these were PAFs, they're not. They're pad number pickups, which uh, doesn't matter to me because this guitar just sounds great. I never played Les Pauls, but I love this one. It's not much else to say except it's a good, old, great sounding guitar and you can't go wrong with it. But my biggest surprise on this recording session was the cable. I did try about five different cables from five different brands and not saying one is better than the other but my favorite on this one was a titanium cable by a German company called Klotz. Why? The amp just sounded the sweetest with it or the best which is a subjective thing of course and so my suggestion to you is Grab your favorite guitar and amplifier and try a bunch of different cables and see how it works for you. With the Strat I usually go for a extra heavy pick. Of course it's a Marcus demo signature pick that I make these myself. And But I found out with the humbuckers and the amplifier set to its ridiculous setting uh, I got sort of a choking noise on the amplifier that I didn't like at all and it just disappeared once I lightened up on the pick. The problem was that it really hit the notes hard. Uh, if you use very light picking it doesn't really matter how thick your plectrum or pick is. So this was a big revelation for me once again, I guess you never stop learning. Is there anything else? No, except that I really did enjoy to play this unusual setup. One thing I have to say or admit, I did use some reverb coming from the board, which is an Insonic DP4 reverb. I hope you accept that as a legal effect. This was Marcus Demmel. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Guitar Junkie. See you on the road. Peace.